How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 9 is the next unannounced series coming to Horizon 5 and we already know a little bit about it and in today's video we're going to deep dive into the features that we know are coming and we're going to try and predict what they are. There's a lot of speculations and there's a lot of guesswork we can do based on clues we've been given and just general guesswork but there are many reasons to believe this upcoming feature is going to be a big feature, potentially game changing which is why I'm making an entire video talking about it. If you do enjoy this video guys please do consider subscribing to the channel it helps out massively we do stuff like this all the time let's get into it shall we so in the last forza live stream mike brown himself made a comment about the upcoming teaser for series nine this is what he said we? so yeah, we've got, we've got i guess we've got, we've got it there we can um i guess we just read out so we've got the horizon academy that's okay. coming we've got the horizon nexus uh new cars new events new challenges and they're coming soon. And they're coming soon. You may well <laughs> yeah. ask what those things are, but that'll be for the Series 9 stream. So you can wait and well, see. Check out the next stream, folks, mm -hmm. all right? We're the ones in charge. You have to come back. <laughs> so obviously he mentioned Horizon Academy and also the Horizon Nexus as well. Now I want to focus more on the Horizon Nexus because I believe that could be something a lot more interesting than what it may first see. I did a video on this about a week ago talking about, you know, what it could be. We didn't really spend much time on it, but quite a lot of you guys in the comment section gave your opinions on it as well. So we're going to look through quite a lot of that and sort of break them down. So first of all, we can look at how Mike Brown spoke about the Horizon Nexus. All he did was basically say, what we've got coming next is the Horizon Nexus. And the way he said that, the Horizon Nexus, just makes it sound like a big feature. If it was just an event, for example, he wouldn't have called it the Horizon Nexus. Let's have a look at the definition of the word Nexus. Now, we already looked at this in the video last week. However, we can deep dive into it a bit more. The word Nexus means a connection or a bunch of connections linking to something. It means some kind of connection type thing, you know, connecting two things together, that general basis of it. Now, if you look up synonyms for the word Nexus, now that means words that are very similar to the word Nexus, you'll get words like center, connection, core, link, network. So this Horizon Nexus thing is some kind of network, some kind of connection, some kind of core to something. The first theory people have is the Horizon Nexus is just the code name for the first expansion, meaning that in Series 9, which is around when the first expansion is predicted, the Horizon Nexus is just simply the code name of it. They're not going to reveal the name to us just yet, so Horizon Nexus is just one way of saying it's going to be the expansion. That's certainly a possibility. The second theory someone had is that Horizon Nexus is just a name for the new Backstage Pass. You may remember back in Horizon 4, there was something introduced called the Backstage Pass, and this was a way to get all of the previously rare vehicles that were added to the game that you couldn't get anymore. You could vote for which vehicles would be returned. And we all know that the Car Pass is actually ending in Horizon 5 in Series 9, which is when Horizon Nexus is coming out. So people are guessing that maybe Horizon Nexus is just the name of a new thing being added when the Car Pass has ended. A new way to maybe get the Car Pass vehicles or some of the old new vehicles that were added a few months ago to the game that you can't get anymore, or at least can't get without looking on the auction house for them. So that's another possibility. Maybe the Horizon Nexus is just a reworked backstage pass. Now the car pass is ending. Quite a few of you guys thought of this. Maybe the Horizon Nexus is a hub, or it is the name of an update where we can travel back and go on and drive on the maps of the previous Horizon games. Forza Horizon 1, Forza Horizon 2, 3 and 4, all of their maps will be available to drive within this Horizon Nexus. It makes sense with the word Nexus. It's connecting, it's linking all of the previous Horizons together and letting us enjoy those amazing maps on next-gen consoles with Horizon 5 cars and everything like that. Now, that would be a huge update, absolutely gigantic. This whole thing in general might actually be the first expansion. I think something as big as being able to drive on the previous Horizon maps would be so big that it would be classed as the first expansion, which means that the whole Jurassic Park thing would be out of the window. But I definitely like the idea of that theory. It sums up perfectly with the word Nexus, We've got to have some kind of huge feature come to Horizon 5 eventually. Horizon 4 had loads of big features, the Eliminator, Super 7, Festival Playlist as well, that was a feature. Now something that actually backs this theory up is a comment that someone left in the comment section um, explaining his theory and he said, now I don't know if this is true or not, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if you know it is true or if it isn't true. 
But apparently, Tom Butcher, one of the producers at Playground Games that appears on our live streams, apparently he said that at some point in the future of Horizon 4, there's going to be a big update. Something big is planned. And this big thing that's planned could be the connection between Horizon 4 and Horizon 5. If we are getting the maps returning or some kind of connection between the previous Horizon games and Horizon 5, that would be classed as something quite big for Horizon 4. So if Tom Butcher has said this himself, this is what it could be referring to. It's again, it's a possibility. I've not heard him say this myself, but if it's true, it, it, it adds to it. It adds to it, doesn't it? Quite a few random things have happened lately that might add up to this. For example, Forza Horizon 1, the first ever Forza Horizon, is coming up to its 10 year anniversary this year. So that makes it, you know, it makes sense, I guess. And once again, the word Nexus, it makes sense. Now, there are other theories that are along these kind of lines, but not as extreme as all the Horizon maps being available. We all know that the Forza Hub app, where you could go and look at the community, look at rewards, you know, you could get monthly rewards for playing Forza and doing challenges and stuff like that. Forza Hub has shut down lately, and it's basically been completely removed from existence. Forza Hub no longer exists. People are predicting that maybe Horizon Nexus is the new Forza Hub, which will tie together Horizon 5 and the next Forza Motorsport. We talked a little bit about this in my last video, about the Horizon Nexus maybe being a hub where you can connect Horizon 5 and Motorsport 8, or whatever the next Motorsport game is going to be called. You know, you can do challenges between them both. It's going to be some kind of hub area to hang out, and you can go and play Motorsport, or you can go and play Horizon. Do challenges, earn rewards for playing them both. Horizon Nexus could be the updated version of that. As I said, Forza Hub has only just recently shut down, so it adds up. The other possibility is Horizon Nexus is just, once again, a hub or an area where we can access the first expansion or the standard Mexican map. As I said, the first expansion is rumoured, not confirmed, but rumoured to release or be announced around Series 9 or 10, just exactly when Horizon Nexus is coming out. So maybe the Horizon Nexus is once again a hub where you can travel to the first expansion, whatever that's going to be, or you can travel to the Mexico map. A new physical area to hang out. Maybe it's a garage. We don't know. We've got to look at the word Nexus. There's got to be some kind of connection between the word Nexus and whatever this actual feature is. I can't imagine they would have chosen the word Nexus if there wasn't some meaning behind it. And we know that the meaning behind it is core, network, connection, some kind of linkage between something. But what is that something? If you guys have any other predictions, let me know in the comment section below. But as I said, um, Horizon Nexus is just one of the things coming in Series 9. Horizon Academy is the main theme name for it. Now, someone commented on my video about what Horizon Academy could mean. And I made a comment about Horizon Academy sounds like some kind of academy or learning area. And it might be similar to Gran Turismo 7's licenses. If you don't know what that is, Gran Turismo 7 licenses are just challenges. You get put in a certain car on a certain track and you have to do a certain corner perfectly in the wet or in the rain or with slick tyres. Just challenges, basically. Well, I put up a screenshot on screen of what the Gran Turismo 7 license screen looks like. It sort of gives you a preview of what you're going to do. And this guy in the comment section pointed me back to one of the Torben Tuesdays. Now, Torben Tuesday is an image that we get from Playground Games that has clues in it. And this was the one that he showed me. And I thought, yeah, there is similarities there. These four boxes with little squiggles inside, I don't think they actually told us meant anything. But this could be just a slight hint towards these boxes being similar to the Gran Turismo 7 license scheme. You can see the similarities there. Boxes or challenges with track layouts within them. They're not that accurate. It's not that much of a dead giveaway but it's a possibility. This would of course be talking about the Horizon Academy and not Horizon Nexus, hinting that licenses or Academy is coming to Horizon 5. Now this Academy could be part of the Horizon Nexus hub. If Horizon Nexus is a hub, you could go to the first expansion, you could go to the Mexico map, or you could go to the Academy and do some challenges. It's certainly a possibility. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's just a bit of a discussion video about what this could be because I do believe that Nexus or Academy is going to be a game-changing feature. What do you guys think?
We'll find out in a few weeks. You can bet that as soon as we have any more information on what any of these things are going to be, we'll hear about it first on this channel. Anyway, guys, live a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.